Hello everyone, welcome to my Royal Life News channel, the story for today is Prince Harry is copping heat for his latest US appearance, rocking up at a Texas rodeo despite his wife Meghan Markle's animal rights activism. The Duke of Sussex, 37, was pictured in a cowboy hat as he chatted to crowds at the Stockyards Rodeo event in Fort Worth on Saturday. He is understood to have been without Meghan Markle, 40, at the event, one witness told the Daily Mail, it's a quintessentially American event, where animals are made to perform. Given he has such a lack of respect for the First Amendment and his wife is such an animal rights activist, it is shocking he thought he could show his face here. The funny thing is most people didn't recognize him or care. Stay up to date with the latest news on the British Royals with Flash. 25 plus news channels in one place, new to Flash. Try one month free, offer ends 31 October 2022 Greater than Harry has since been publicly criticized by animal rights group Peter, which labeled his unusual appearance as extremely disappointing, given the reputation of rodeos for encouraging animal suffering. It's extremely disappointing to see that Prince Harry made the misjudgment to attend a rodeo, a crude, old amusement for bored cowboys who view animals as nothing more than things, Katie Cryer, a Peter assistant manager, said in a statement. In these events, participants use electric prods, flank straps, and spurs to burn, wound, terrorize, and provoke animals who are trying to flee for their lives. Cryer added, animals commonly sustain broken bones, punctured lungs, snapped necks, or torn muscles, and they sometimes die in an arena, and even those who don't end up scared out of their wits at a slaughterhouse, so anyone who cares about animals should avoid these spectacles of suffering. A raft of other animal rights groups have slammed rodeos in the past due to their treatment of horses. The animals are forced to perform and can often suffer fatal injuries, including heart attacks, broken necks and even aneurysms. Meghan is a staunch animal rights activist and even reportedly talked Harry out of attending royal fox hunts. She is also a patron of the London-based Mayhew Trust animal charity and has been pictured cuddling pets at the premises. Mayhew's media officer Sata Hastelow previously described Meghan as a champion of animals and animal welfare. Rodeos have been a tradition in states like Texas, California, Colorado, Florida, Oklahoma and Wyoming for many years. Organizers insist their animals are well looked after and follow rules governed by the Professional Rodeo Cowboys Association, PRCA. Today's events must have a vet on site at all times and animals that are injured or unhealthy must be removed straight away. But animal rights campaigners, such as PETA and the American Society for the Prevention of Cruelty to Animals ASPCA, have blasted the events. The latter branded rodeos, a cruel form of entertainment that involves the painful, stressful and potentially harmful treatment of livestock. Harry's appearance comes after he appeared alongside Meghan on stage at the NAACP Image Awards. The couple, who received the President's Award for Special Achievement and Distinguished Public Service, waded in on the Ukraine crisis. Harry said, Before I begin, we would like to acknowledge the people of Ukraine, who urgently need our continued support as a global community. Meghan and Harry previously showed their support for Ukraine in a statement condemning Russian President Vladimir Putin's invasion of the country. They wrote on the website of their Archwell charity, Prince Harry and Meghan, the Duke and Duchess of Sussex and all of us at Archwell stand with the people of Ukraine against this breach of international and humanitarian law and encourage the global community and its leaders to do the same. This article originally appeared on The Sun and is reproduced here with permission. That is all for today news, thank you for watching to my channel, please be sure to leave your comment and subscribe below for more news update.